So here's another follow-up video on growing these Afghan pines from seed. Uh, so these trees, it's now July 2021. I started them in March 2020, so they're over a year old now, um, but just barely. So uh, some of these trees that are already uh, over a foot tall. So here's my, got large hands, but you can see these trees are coming up. Um, and now is at the stage where you can just barely see some uh, adult needles starting to come in. So yeah, these are all over a foot tall now. And these are growing in five gallon pots, so they're pretty large now, but they're still, uh, it's still like a mixture of uh, the juvenile needles with the adult needles now starting to come in the darker green. Um, yeah, they're doing very well. Also got the next generation here of more Afghan pines. You can see them all coming in. Here is a, uh, this is called a California foothill pine or a uh, sometimes called a ghost pine. These have very like uh, gray foliage um, and they're native to uh, the very dry and hot areas of California on the lower elevation slopes of the Sierra Nevada mountains. Um, these have very similar uh, drought tolerant uh, capabilities with the Afghan pine. Um, they're very fast growing. It's kind of related to a ponderosa pine. Um, they're very closely related to a ponderosa pine. But the drought tolerance and heat tolerance is much higher. In the natural environment of these guys, um, it's very commonly above 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, it doesn't rain for about seven months at a time. So um, I collected this one from seed. Um, I'll do a video later on how to grow these from seed. It's a lot more difficult because since it's related to the ponderosa pine, it does have some uh, cold temperature requirements in order to get the seed to germinate. Um, but actually they've started to sell these at uh, the Nevada Department of Forestry. So that just uh, shows that it's being proven uh, in some very dry areas. So I'm uh, experimenting with those as well. It's also regarded as a zone uh, 8A or 8B. Uh, so that's very, it's not cold hardy at all, but in reality, it's more like a zone five tree or a zone six tree. Um, because I planted them in Northern Nevada where it was 10 degrees every night and I did not have any cold damage on mine. In addition, there's uh, also some uh, compelling uh, proof on the internet that they've survived much lower temperatures uh, down to like negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit in Ohio. There's also a mature specimen in uh, Columbus, Ohio at the zoo. Um, so that's something to consider. Uh, they're a lot more cold hardy than they say they are. They can take a lot of rain. They can also take uh, no rain. So they're like, you'll see these trees sometimes uh, mingling with Joshua trees at the, um, at the, at the, at the intersections of, of where those ranges of plants meet. So they're a very drought tolerant tree. I'll be doing some more videos on this one later. Um, I've also got some Arizona Cypress. Um, I'll be doing a video on these. These, uh, the requirement for growing these is really similar to uh, growing the Afghan pines. The only thing is, is you have to put the seeds in a moist paper uh, paper towel and put them in a bag. You got to put that in the fridge for three weeks um, to cold stratify. Basically, your the the seed has a dormancy that's uh, the seeds evolved to not sprout until it's sensed a winter. Basically, so you have to trick the seed into having gone through a winter. So you have to put that seed in a wet paper towel inside of a plastic bag, and you keep that. Um, inside the fridge for three weeks and then you take it out and then that seed will sprout. Uh, these uh, Arizona Cypress have been very fast growers. So this for one's me. in a three gallon pot um, and it's uh, only a year old and it's really starting to get uh, big and the trunk on it is starting to get a lot wider. These Arizona Cypress, uh, they are also uh, just like the Afghan pine, they're a very drought tolerant uh, 
conifer with uh, native ranges extending into some areas with as little as 12 inches of annual rainfall. They're also uh, quite cold hardy. Um, you'll see them in uh, Reno, Salt Lake City, uh, Boise, Idaho. Um, so there's a lot of places in which they'll grow. So I'll do some more videos on these and uh, explain how to grow these from seed. It's very easy, um, especially where I'm planting in Northern Nevada. The survival rate is pretty low uh, due to the uh, extreme nature of the environment. So growing all these trees from seed, it's um, it's really been able to help me continue because um, I can grow hundreds of trees rather than paying $60 per pine tree at the local nursery. So um, I'll definitely do some more videos. I'll also uh, try to get some videos done about uh, how to successfully plant uh, pine trees in a desert environment and what I do to help prepare my trees for that. All right, well, uh, that's all for today and thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate it.